Hello and welcome to Tucking It Up. My name is Tuck and as you can see, I like playing around with makeup. The other thing I, well, not the other thing, but that sound makes sound like I mean like two things. Um, another thing that I do love uh, is the X-Men um, and there's a big like crossover event happening soon in the comics called the Hellfire Gala. Uh, I, it, you know, they made a lot of really cool costumes, new costumes for um, the, the characters. And anyway, I thought, you know what would go well with those new costumes? Makeup looks. I'm going to do a couple of them uh, based on, based on I think what the characters, you know, how they would do their faces uh, to go with their outfits. Um, and so first up is Storm. Um, and this was actually kind of an easy one. It's only even a little bit of a cheat. She's basically got this look on already. Um, so I just kind of did my own version, did my own take on it. Um, so if you'd like to see how I created this look, uh, please stay tuned. As you can see, like, like I mentioned, she's already basically already got the, the makeup look on, um, but I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Um, um, what I'm going to interpret it as actually is more of a smoky eye with like graphic elements. Um, and I'm also going to uh, incorporate some gold into the look because I love gold, but I also think if um, she were actually wearing this look to the event, you know, the gold would play nicely off of the other elements um, in her design. And it's going to be sort of in a cat eye sort of shape because Storm's eyes are almost always, whether or not like she's got on, she's supposed to have on makeup, um, she's always kind of got that, you know, really uh, like snatched sort of cat eye. You know, she's basically, a, she wakes up looking like a supermodel you know, completely done up, you know, you, even if she has like not a lick of makeup on, right? If you go by by what the comics are doing. As usual, I'm gonna go in with some eyeshadow primer. This one is from e.l.f. You might not need this because you might not have like super oily eyelids like I do. To create the base for the smoky eye, I'm going to use a black pencil. This one is the Perma Gel Pencil in Extreme Black from Pat McGrath. This one I find has the most staying power of everything I've tried. Pack it on. Um, if you have hooded eyelids or monolids like me, you know you I, you do want a little bit of the the black to be showing even when you're looking straight ahead. So bring it up uh, a little bit high, but not not too high because we're going to set everything with shadow and then we're going to blend up the shadow. So that's going to go even a little bit higher uh, than where we have the pencil right now. And then because we're ultimately creating a bit of a cat eye shape, I'm going to start uh, doing like a bit of a tiny wing. Uh, in the outer corner. All right, so I did the other eye uh, as well with the pencil. Um, you know, they're actually, for me, they're decently even. Um, uh, they're a little bit patchy, right? Um, but that's okay because we're going to cover this uh, with, with black shadow and you know, you can see there's some messiness which I'll uh, clean up later when we get to the base and all of that. Um, okay, so for setting the pencil, I'm going to use the shade Void, which is uh, kind of a metallic black from the Enchanted Mysteries palette uh, from Linda Hallberg. And I wanted to use this instead of just a flat matte black because I wanted a little, you know, since it's supposed to be kind of like a, a fancy event, uh, I wanted there to be a little bit more uh, shimmer and a little bit of sparkle. To set, just pat the shadow over where we had smudged out the pencil earlier. Don't worry so much about blending the edges and all of that. You just want to set the pencil for now. All right, now that the black eyeshadow is down, I'm going to blend out the edges just a little bit uh, with uh, a gold shade. Uh, it's going to be Ara from the Enchanted Mysteries palette. It's this one right here. Um, and it's a lovely, like kind of a, more of a coppery almost gold. Um, so I'm just going to apply that along the upper part, right, and help, that'll help that, uh, blend everything and also uh, make the smoke a little bit more um, gentle. I'm going to load up a small crease brush with the gold shade and then just place it, just pat it quite gently over where uh, the edge of the black is uh, and then just gently, gently blend it. I don't want the gold to be very, very strong, um, I, but I do want it to, you know, just be there and again, like I said, act as a sort of a blending uh, sort of transition shade almost. Um, and then I noticed that I wanted the black to come up a little bit more. I felt like the gold was taking over a little and so I just patted more black very quite gently, you know, just to use a light, a very light hand, a small amount of product, just so you can build up that smoke, build up that intensity to what you like. Next, we're going to work on the under eyes. I'm going to start actually by placing a tiny bit of, uh, you know, concealer in the outer corner, um, just because I have some darkness there and I don't want it distracting too much from the shadow. 
I'm just going to apply a tiny bit of the shade 1.5 from the same tip concealer that I always use and blend it in with a tiny brush and then just lightly set it with some powder. I'm just going to apply a pretty, you know, relatively thin uh, line um, along my lower lash line. Uh, constant, it's going to be thicker uh, at the outer corner and then it's going to go about halfway in. And then after that, I'm going to take a smudger brush and just smudge it out uh, and then smudge the outer corner up into uh, sort of that wing that we have and then bring the pencil into the inner corner. To set the pencil, I'm going to apply Void, uh, that metallic black shade that we used earlier, and just put it on a pencil brush. Okay, so that's the basic eye established. Uh, I'm actually kind of digging it. Um, you know, you could probably stop here. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, let's move on to the base. The main difference uh, from my usual base steps is I'm actually going to do a little bit of cream contour because I want my cheekbones to really pop because, you know, storms are like incredible uh, cheekbones. For foundation today, I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match in the shade W3 or Nude Beige. This is a little bit yellow for me when it first goes on, but I think it actually either oxidizes, whatever it does, it ends up matching my skin tone pretty well. Um, and then for spot concealing, I'm going to use the shade 1.5 from the same again, uh, the tip concealer. And then to highlight, I'm going to use 1 and 1.5 uh, from, from that concealer line, uh, you know, long nose, forehead, that sort of stuff. For cream contour today, I'm going to use the shade Fawn from Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills, and this is one of their stick foundations. So I'm just going to do it quite gently actually, so just use my fingers for under my cheekbones, and then uh, take, you know, just blend it out really well with the foundation brush that I was using earlier to marry everything. And then on the bridge of my nose, I'm just going to take this uh, sort of angled uh, brush, kind of fluffy, and then just like, you know, gently, gently draw in the shadows. To set, I'm going to use the e.l.f. setting powder in the shade Sheer. For contour, I'm going to use the Contour Book Volume 3 from Kevin O'Quan. I've angled my brush so that the narrow part of it is touching, right, uh, is touching the cheekbone. And so I'm going to use that to sort of carve out uh, a more uh, pronounced line, a sharper cheekbone. Uh, and then down the nose, I'm just going to use that angle brush that I was using earlier. For bronzer today, I'm going to use the bronzer shade from the Contour Book palette. For highlighter, I'm just going to use the powders that are in that palette, trying to angle everything uh, upwards along sort of the same uh, vectors, if you will. For blush today, I'm going to use these two shades right here. Uh, so the darker shade, I'm going to use uh, higher up sort of to try and draw the, the, the eye up to lift the face a little bit. And then the lighter shade, I'm going to place more towards the center of the face. Um, again, this will kind of give everything, you know, it'll pull your, draw, draw your eyes sort of upwards and outwards. Alright, so for brows, um, I'm going to follow actually Russell, you know, that, 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 that picture that I showed you. Um, Russell Dodderman's rendition of Storm where her eyebrows kind of go straight up like that. Um, and there's no like arch to them or anything. Uh, so obviously my eyebrows are a lot straighter and a lot like more horizontal <laughs> than hers. So, um, well, you know, I'll cheat this as best I can. Using a brow pencil, I'm going to start filling in my brow and establishing the shape as well as the angle. Um, and then when I get to the tails, you know, I'm going to pull it out a little bit. And as you can see, kind of try to concentrate more of the uh, product sort of at the upper uh, upper line just to, again, make it look like it's more angled. I mean, I wish I didn't have to keep my eyebrows for like my uh, day job um, because this look would have been a little bit, quite a bit better, I think, without, let me finesse it right here, there we go, uh, without my real brows sort of getting in the way. To start mapping out the shape, I'm just going to take some brown eyeshadow and just Sort of gently, you know, draw where I want the lines to go. Um, so I'm going to do the top line first, and then as you see, it goes up quite high, and it goes up at quite a steep angle as well. Um, and then I'm going to do the same uh, for the lower line. It's just going to parallel the upper one, but it's going to be shorter. And then to uh, establish everything a little bit more, I'm going to take some black shadow. Uh, this is a matte black shadow, um, just on a liner brush, um, and just you know, really. Uh, carve out that line. Okay, 
I think that's pretty good as, as a base. Um, okay, now we're going to kind of refine everything. So, uh, yes, as you can see, there's, there's a bit of a gap here, which I don't like, so I'm going to fill that in. Using a combination of an angle brush and a really small pencil brush, I'm just going to fill in that corner, uh, make sure the black there is, you know, pretty opaque, uh, and then just strengthen the lines with more black shadow. I was going to do gel liner, but I decided I don't really want to, I don't think this look needs it. I think it's actually pretty good on its own. But I do want to emphasize the eyes, the, the lines a even more. Um, and so I'm just gonna take a pencil brush, wet it with um, some some spray, and kind of go, go along the uh, edges of, of the lines, the underside of the lines, with uh, that, that gold that I used on the eye earlier. Okay, so last steps for the eyes. Uh, I'm going to tight line, uh, and yeah, that's about it. Oh, I forgot, of course, the, the inner corner. I'm going to do that cat eye shape. Um, so I'm just going to use a pencil um, and just draw it in. Okay, I think that's the eyes done then. Um, so let's move on to the lips. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a plummy, sort of burgundy lip today. Um, and I think, you know, would Storm wear a color like that? Yes, and it would probably look really also very, really nice on her uh, skin tone. Um, so I'm going to line and fill in with the NYX uh, Vintage uh, Lip Liner. Um, it's this sort of uh, wine shade. Um, and then on top of that, I'm going to use uh, Exotica from Pat McGrath. It's uh, sort of more of a uh, burgundy shade. It's got a lot of purple to it. Um, and then just to make everything um, a little bit more uh, plum, uh, I'm going to add in some brown. Um, and I'm going to use this brown uh, gloss from NYX and then mix it, uh, just because I want a little bit of gold, mix a little bit of the gold astral vinyl gloss in there as well. All right, so this is the final look then. Uh, let me give you a tour as always. Boom. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you had fun watching me make this. I definitely had a lot of fun uh, creating this look. Um, I love Storm. She's been my one of my favorite characters in any sort of fiction, media, pop culture um, since I was like seven, probably. Um, so so yes, so she's been like in my pantheon for a very long time. Um, so uh, yeah, I might. I, I definitely want to do a couple more at least uh, of, of the of the X Men uh, Jean for sure. Uh, Emma also. That that look I've been playing around with. Uh, it's been a little tricky to develop, but I think I finally got it. Um, I don't know if those videos will actually get out before the Hellfire event starts. Probably not because it starts in a couple of days, and I don't think I'll get to it. But anyway, um, whether you know whether I'm timely or not. They are coming. Um, so until next time, um, like, comment, subscribe, um, take care, um, and bye! Okay, let's get into the storm mindset. Um, ooh, 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 let me look up pictures of how to pose. That's another one. Classic Halle Berry. Of course, the class. Oh, this is just not wide enough, but. Look, I've got lightning. Except not, but I'll pretend.